So welcome to Zach and Martin at the Movies. We're doing a little special here. This is what we want to see special! next year, 2013. So we're going to run through a bunch of movies. Obviously, we're not going to cover release dates. We're not going to cover release dates. We're not going to cover any of that. These are just movies slated to be released. Some of them were supposed to be out already yeah. and got pushed back. So we're, co- we're saying we want to see them then. Um, Hitchcock is not on this list. No. but. Because hopefully that'll still be out eventually. Like, yeah, hopefully it hits our yeah. neck of the woods before it hits its wide release. Um, but yeah, so to start off with, you live free, not live free, wow, it's a good day to die hard. It's just a lame title. It's a lame title, but man, I want to see Bruce Willis beat the crap out of that guy it's in true. Russia. It's true, Bruce Willis, if anybody can come back with a lame title like that, mm-hmm. it's Bruce Willis. So it's Die Hard 5. Yeah. Um, excited. I am I like, excited. I like Live Free or Die Hard. I like, I like all the Die Hard movies, and I like Bruce Willis in general. Yeah. So I'm excited to see this one. I think this is an early release. It's January or February. But once again, these are all subject to change due to, you know, studios. Yeah. But yeah, Live Free or... The ones we wanted to see this year all change. Yeah. Most of them change. Most of them change, and most of them are now on this list. Yeah. But yeah, Live Free or Die Hard, we want to see it. Hopefully you want to see it. And once we see it, we'll tell you about it. So when we see that you see that we see... <laughs> We will see to tell you what we saw. <laughs> All right. Next yeah. up is Broken City. Mark Wahlberg, Russell Crowe. We saw a trailer for this, and that's what sold me on this one. I liked. It. I, I liked the. I liked it when I saw the the lame trailer. Like you saw the the done trailer. Yeah. I saw the before trailer when they first released mm-hmm. it, and that's what sold me on. I just like. It looks like a good movie. I'm maybe not one I run out and see in the theater and like the, you know. Twelve dollar theater, but you know yeah, budget. Yeah, we also said that about a whole bunch of other movies. In the theater, yeah, we got four. <laughs> and I actually have to start saving money. So yeah. budgets definitely. This is gonna get seen in a theater. Yeah. Um, a theater. A theater. But yeah, Broken City is definitely on this list. We want to go see it. Definitely gonna happen. Next up, Despicable Me Two. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen whether we want it to or not. We want it to, but. I have a girlfriend. We have girlfriends. Mm-hmm. So we have female. We're gonna go see this it's one. It's gonna happen. Uh, we have a deal going on that if I have a girlfriend yeah. that time this comes out or Little Mermaid 3D comes out, that's, I have to go see. That's it. the one I'm excited for. If he has a girlfriend when Little when Little Mermaid comes out, I told him that he has to come see it with me and my girlfriend because I'm gonna be forced to see it because yep. it's like her favorite movie. That is not on our list though. That is not <laughs> on our list. To see Little Mermaid. It's not on our list. But as big me too is the trailers look good for it that are out it already. Looks funny. It looks funny. I can't wait to see what they're going to do with this series. Al Pacino's the villain. I heard. So I'm excited for Despicable Me 2. I want them to put a Scarface character. <laughs> and Al Pacino play that. That would be a great twist for a children's movie. Kind of, yeah. Nobody would ever know who All right. it is. Anyway. <laughs> Next up is G.I. Joe two. Retaliation. Two. Two. This is two. This is supposed to come out this year, but it got pushed back because they wanted more Channing Tatum. Channing Tatum. Yeah. They wanted more of him in the movie. Um, I actually watched a movie earlier today. It had a trailer for Mission Impossible 2 before it, way back when it was supposed to be released this year. And it made me want to. And it made me, yeah, G.I. Joe 2. You said Mission Impossible. I'm sorry. You were watching Mission Mission Impossible. Impossible, And it had that trailer. Yeah, G.I. Joe 2. I saw the trailer again. It still makes me want to go out and see it. I like the first one. Martin almost cried when they pushed the date back. I did. I was sad. (laughs) I want it. I want to watch this movie. Bruce Willis is in this one. Yeah, that's his his thing in the trailer though is awesome. It is. He's of like, the, of like the truck just going like this, <laughs> and then it's you okay? My cholesterol's a little high. <laughs> it's a great moment. I want to see this one. He wants to see this. Oh one. yeah. Um, we actually happen. saw the first trailer for this one when we went and saw Safe House. So that is how long oh, that ago? Was while, that, was that was a while February. Ago. Yeah, that was a while ago. So that was that was a while ago. This thing had trailers, but we want to see it. It's getting seen. Next yeah. up, Gangster Squad. Woohoo! I want to see this. I want to see this one too. This looks great. Not because I have a thing for Emma Stone, but because the movie looks good. Well, he's got a thing for Keira Knightley. Well, and it is because you have a thing for Emma Stone because she's even wearing like a red dress. That was the thing you pointed out in the I poster. I did point it out. <laughs> I'd already right. seen the trailer and wanted to see it because of the trailer. Gangster Squad is a January release. Yeah. Definitely going to see this one. That's good. So I think I firm think that Sean Penn should just retire. <laughs> you think Sean Penn should retire? He's just old. He's getting, like, super old. Yeah, Ryan Gosling's a hit-or-miss actor, but yeah. Josh Brolin normally does really it's good awesome. movies. awesome, yeah. It's so, really good. I'm have high expectations for this one. I'm hoping it's going to be good. This one was also pushed back. 
after the Batman Dark Knight Rises incident. Yeah. But it's coming out next year, and I want to go see it. The next awesome. one, Zach's going to geek out for for a minute. Woo! Iron Man 3. Woo! It's great. Um, I want to see this solely for the fact of, well, it's Iron Man, and I love Iron Man, and uh, that it takes place after the Avengers. It's not like a... What, what what they usually do, where they mm-hmm. go, well, we, we made these movies, then we made the Avengers, but then we're going to go back to where we left off with this. They're taking it after the Avengers yep. and everything he has to do with it and progressing out off of that, and that's that's what I like. And they're finally bringing the in his topic, yeah. main villain, the Mandarin. Ben Kingsley mm-hmm. sounds great. The movie looks good. It looks awesome. It does. It looks awesome. Uh, I am can't wait. This is summer, so... Oh, yeah. That'll be out. This, this summer. Yep, that'll be out in the summer. Hopefully. Hopefully. They push it back. I doubt they will. I don't think Marvel could afford to push it back. They've got to go up against Man of Steel, which did not make yeah, our list, true. by the way. That's true. I forgot about I, for, I, I even forgot yeah. that Man of Steel was coming Superman out. Superman did not make our list. We might see it, but it's not a definitely going to see it. There's list. a reason why Superman didn't make our list, because the last three super movie, super movie Superman movies that have come out sucked. Yeah, he has not had a good run with movies. Next up, Monster University. <laughs> it's just a good time. I like Monsters Inc. Me too. I want to go see Monster University. <laughs> I just like I like just the concept of them being in college yep. and junk. That it makes me happy. Going back to them in college, I'm excited for it. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I'm excited to see this one. There mm-hmm. aren't too many trailers out for it yet, no. but I'm still firmly. Do you st- do you still know yet if they're gonna release this before they do Monsters Inc. or they're gonna do Monsters? The Inc. 3D version of Monsters Inc. comes out in December. So yes, yeah, so yep. they're gonna do that one first, and then yep. they're gonna, okay. So they're really gonna get a lot of hype for this one going because they just would have put Monsters Inc. back in theaters, and mm-hmm. then this the is gonna one. come out. So yeah, the next one. Now you see me. Okay, so I was watching him put like because we have a slideshow. I was yep. watching him put this together, and I was like, "What the crap is that?" And he had told me the basic concept of it a while, like a few weeks ago. Yeah. And I was like, "What is that?" And I just looked up the trailer. It looks awesome. It does. It looks amazing. Awesome. I'm really excited for this one. It's got Woody Harrelson, Jess Eisenberg, Morgan Freeman, Michael Cade. I like Jess Eisenberg. Mark Ruffalo. Mark Ruffalo. Mark Ruffalo. This looks like it's gonna be a good time. It looks yeah. like it's gonna be amazing. Definitely, if you have not checked out the trailer for it you yet, need to. IMDb it right now. Check yeah. out that trailer. It's a good time. It's, it's fun. It is. It, it's a fun trailer. Next up, Red 2. Okay, so I'm excited for this because I like the first Red. I just don't understand what else they're going <laughs> to do. I don't know. I don't know what they're going to do. But I'm excited for Red 2 as well. We get Bruce Willis again. Again. Again, again with Bruce Willis. More Bruce Willis. And the whole family. <laughs> Anthony Hopkins. Yeah. Ooh, really? Oh, Anthony yeah, Hopkins. Yeah. yeah, Anthony Hopkins comes in for this one. We lose Morgan Freeman, but we have Anthony Hopkins, so I'm going to throw that at the <laughs> trade. That's a fair, fair trade. trade. Um, I'm excited for Red 2. I think they should have resurrected Morgan Freeman. Who knows? They might. <laughs> um, this one's a late release next year, so things can change with this one. Yeah. But I'm excited to go check out Red 2 when it comes out. Hopefully it's next year. Next up is one I'm sure a lot of people haven't heard of. R.I.P.D. Oh, no. I guarantee you they haven't. No, nope. This is another comic book movie. Ryan Reynolds! Ryan Reynolds. Essentially, it's yeah. about ghost detectives, and it just sounds really cool. There are yeah. no trailers out for it yet. There's no... There should be. I thought Broken City, when it first started, was going to be a R.I.P.D. Yeah. Just how, the, just how it started out. I was like, oh, this is going to be it. And then Mark Wahlberg was up there. Yeah. Like, mm, no. So Gross. we want to go see it. It comes out next year. It's a yeah. summer release. I can't wait for a trailer to get posted. I'm excited. I've read. It should come, it should come out soon. It should be coming out soon. I've read the stuff on it. It sounds really amusing. Yeah. Next up is another pushback, The Great Gatsby. Which I I like. I, I thought the the story, the book, in the old movie mm-hmm. that was made was kind of lame. But I saw this. We were both <laughs> we were both watching. I don't even remember what movie we were watching. But we were both sitting there, and the, and the trailer came up. We're like. Yeah, we were like both going. Leo DiCaprio. We caught there was the Great Gatsby right away, and we were both sitting there going, "Gatsby," and yeah. and then we kept watching. Like this is really good. This is this, really good. This looks good. I want to see this. And then I got I'm pushed okay back. with Leo DiCaprio being in this movie. Yeah, and then I got pushed back. Um, the poster it looks like it says Christmas 2012. Yeah, that's not happening. No. It got pushed back to summer 2013. I doubt it. if they can somehow swing it where it still goes to Christmas. No. 
It won't happen. It won't happen. It won't come out that soon. No. Uh, anyway. Next up is the other Marvel idea for yeah. this year is Wolverine. Wolverine 2. Wolverine 2. Just the Wolverine. Or yeah. Wolverine. I don't remember if they have the, the there or not. Once again, there are no trailers for this one out. It's just, I've seen all the X-Men movies in theaters. Yeah. So, I'm going to see this one. Yeah. It, I'm not super excited about the plot. Wolverine going to Japan and training. Hopefully it'll be good. Hopefully the trailers wow me. I'm just not... Like, I like the X-Men movies. I like the way they've been able to put all the various mutants in it. <sighs> Outside of the Silver Samurai, I'm not sure how many more they're going to stick in this one. Mm. And that's kind of making me... Mm. It'd be great if Ryan Reynolds makes a cameo as Deadpool. Oh, I doubt it. I doubt it, but it'd be amazing. That would be good publicity, It though. would be. If they could actually have him, like, not as Wade Wilson, mm -hmm. as actual As Deadpool. Because they, the, they have him in the costume. Yep. They, ha they, they have leaked costume photos. I have it on my phone. Yep. Deadpool is not a 2013 release, however. No, it which is not. sucks. So that's not on this wish list. The last but two let movies, me tell you. Uh, no, he's got to go on his rant. Let me tell you, though, the moment that there is an official release date for Deadpool, we will be going. Yep. There will be a, either a midnight showing or a we're seeing the first showing at a theater. Yeah. The earliest showing we could find in a theater near us, and we're seeing it. It will happen. All right, we got two movies left. Both of them are re-releases, and we just want to go see them because they look epic in 3D. Because they were the ones that they were the ones that we would have seen anyway. Yeah. And first off is Independence Day. <laughs> Such a great movie. Such a great movie. It's coming out in 3D. Oh, I would I would have seen this. I was a young when this came out originally, so I couldn't actually go see it. But I would have seen it. I excited. Guess how, guess how young I was when it came out. How young were you? Very. <laughs> Way younger <laughs> than you. It's true. <laughs> You were probably like a baby when this yep. came out. Just about, yeah. It was like 95. 95, I would have been like, what, two? Two, two. he would have been two. two. 95, two. he would have been two. Anyway, but uh, I thought I would have gone and see this even when I was two. It's a good movie, and it looks like, I think the way 3D is going, it's going to look really good in 3D. And I don't really. This movie was just set up for good 3D anyway. Yeah. To, Good 3D conversion. Most yeah. most movies weren't set up that way that they're re-releasing. Like obviously animated movies, you can yeah you could turn into 3D fairly well, but old movies that were made weren't shot cinematically for yeah. 3D. But this one is one of them that might could, could, could do look it. good. And the other one is of course Jurassic Park. Jurassic Park, which already has an epic poster. That's gonna be great. Yeah, that's gonna be a good time. I want I want I love Jurassic Park. I thought the first movie, even in watching it today, I haven't watched a Blu-ray copy of it yet, so I'm not sure how that one looks. But it's a DVD copy on an upscaling in an upscaling player. You still looks amazing. It looks better than a lot of CG and all that stuff today. So I'm excited to see this one in 3D. Yeah, because they pumped all their budget into this. Oh yeah, and they're making those dinosaurs look good. All of it. So that is our wish list for 2013. Yep. If you think there's anything we should be looking at, anything you, we should if add. There's anything, I was going to say, if there's anything we missed, anything that you heard that we didn't that's coming yeah. out. And this is ones with scheduled release dates sometime yeah. in the near future. So stuff like Thor 2, it doesn't have a scheduled release date yet. It doesn't mean we don't want to see it. It just means it's not scheduled yet, so it's way more likely it's going to get shoved back. Um, but yeah, if you have anything you think we should check out, let us know. We'll take a look at what information we can find on yeah. it. We'll look it up. Most most places have a IMDb or yeah. something on Something it, that so. at least give you a plot. Otherwise, I'm Martin. I'm Zach. And we'll catch you at the movies. Want the last word again? Movies. Movies.